Hi, I'm Dwayne Morris, the Urban Soul Chef. And today, I was in Walmart, as I'm off, I'm, often I am in Walmart. And uh, I like going through the meat section, so I was going through the meat section, and I love seeing this sticker right here. So I found some chicken wings in there that were normally priced $4.81, but they marked them down to $3.51. So I said, hey, you know what? I need to take those chicken wings and use them for something good, something really good. So today what I'm going to do is I'm not going to fry them. Fried chicken is my number one preference when it comes to chicken. But what I'm going to do, because a lot of you guys don't like to fry your food, I'm going to take these chicken wings and bake them. Now, what I'm going to do is use the Urban Soul Chef's fried chicken, herbs, and spices blend to bake these. And they're going to come out delicious. So, what do we do in the Urban Soul Kitchen? Let's get to cooking. All right, I hate to see good deals go by. I walk by good deals, so I grab these wings and we can ready to get to work. First thing we're going to do is wash these wings. You don't know what they've been through. We could have dropped them or anything. So don't trust the package and what they came in. Wash it. Wash it. You don't have to pat dry it, but just make sure you wash it and drain all the water off. The next step is to add oil. Add your oil. You can use uh, vegetable oil, canola, sunflower, peanut, whatever type of oil you prefer, even olive oil. And the main reason for this oil is to coat the chicken. We're getting ready to season, and we want the seasoning to stick to the chicken. Make sure you rub the oil into the meat pretty good. So that way, seasoning will stick. All right, I have about two teaspoons, two tablespoons and two teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of my seasoning, Urban Soul Chef seasoning, and you can use whatever seasoning you prefer. Now, one thing about cooking is don't over-season your food. It's always better to under-season it. You can always come back and add more, but you can't take it away once you've added it. Take your time, season it. Make sure you get every piece of meat that you have in that bowl. After you've seasoned it, toss it, stir it, make sure you get it on every piece that's in there. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time and do it right. If you do it right, you will appreciate the process when you get ready to eat or when you present your meal. And uh, a lot of times people say, I can't cook. I don't know how to cook. This right here is a good project to start. You'll never learn how to cook if you don't start. And you have to get over your nerves and your fear. Just start. And every time you do something, you should get better at it. All right? We're stirring that in. Everything's getting in real good. Take your time. Make sure your oven's at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Get you a pan. I like to use glass Pyrex or glass casserole dish. Spread out your chicken real good. And as you can see, the seasoning really did stick good, but to me, I need a little more. Now, my blend, the Urban Soul Chef um, seasoning, doesn't have salt in it. It has a very low sodium content, so I can add more to it. And this is going to add more flavor. So whatever seasoning you use, if you're familiar with it, you can judge on how to uh, season your, your chicken wings or whatever part of the chicken that you are baking. Make sure you spread them out. We're almost there. Hang in there with me. We're almost there. And if you've not subscribed to me on YouTube, I'm on YouTube, Urban Soul Chef. Subscribe to me on there. I'm also here on Facebook, Urban Soul Chef. I'd appreciate it if you follow me. All right. I flip them over, season them on that side. I want seasoning in every part of these chicken, chicken wings. I like to eat mine after I cook them with buffalo uh, sauce, blue cheese, or ranch. That salt goes good with them. Okay, we're putting them in the stove, 350 degrees is reached, covered them with foil, and we're letting them brawl. 
Oh my God, those chicken wings have turned into chicken legs. Now, what has happened is I forgot to video the wings. And I did some legs, so I used the legs. Look at those spices. Look at that. That's nothing but flavor. Looks good. They're not done yet, but they're almost done. Checking on them. A few more minutes, they'll be done. And all you have to do now is get your vegetables or whatever side you have, and you got a meal. Look at that. Look at that. That is flavor. Thanks for tuning in. But foretelling is not the main thrust of my presentation. My presentation is to foretell.